And you're very welcome to another edition of the programme. Today we're going to have a look at various new techniques which have been introduced in the area of medicine. We're coming to you from NACE in the County Kildare and we're here to see a revolutionary new system in medicine which it is claimed can detect breast cancer some 10 years before uh, other techniques like X-ray, ultrasound and so on. It's a system which has been introduced uh, here in ACE by the Irish Centre for Integrated Medicine and it's called Infrared Tomography. It's a system which we are told at any rate has been used in the United States for some years now. Our Mary Fanning came along here to NACE to see it in action. These images look like something out of the movie Predator or Alien. But this is what medical tomography picks up by means of a very sensitive infrared camera which can detect physiological changes in the body. The camera can pinpoint an increase or decrease in heat which is usually associated with an inflammatory process or abnormal growth of tissue. In plain language, it picks up pre-cancerous mutations. You see, the most important thing is prevention. And because medical tomography detects angiogenesis, these are the early warning signs. These are physiological changes that occur long before an actual tumor develops. So if we can detect these angi angiogenesis, uh, these changes, we can do a lot to prevent these problems. And more, more essence and more focus should be placed on prevention, which is what our clinic strives towards. Perhaps if you put your uh, hands on top of your head, that's it. Yes. Dr. Harold Gear practices in Harley Street in London and NACE. He uses the system widely in his clinics. It works on temperature changes. So how do you differentiate between harmless heat imbalances caused by trivial problems like insect bites and more serious conditions? For that, there are special methods uh, with the thermography, which, uh, uh, for instance, is the cold challenge, where um, the patient holds something that is uh, very cold, the hands act like a radiator, the blood supply gets cooled, and these trivial um, effects disappear. But where there is blood pumping into a, a, a recently produced uh, um, blood vessels that shouldn't be there, that doesn't cool, so we can tell the difference. Thermal imaging was first used for observing battlefield troop movements at night. When the technology was declassified, it was developed by medical experts to detect a number of conditions. But the most startling pickup was early signs of cancer. But why is it different than the technology already used here? Well, ultrasound, x-ray, mammography look at um, physical changes, anatomical changes, uh, which can pick up uh, a tumor, for instance, that is the size of an olive or a bit larger, but not if it's smaller. Uh, thermography will be able to tell you that something is happening in a particular spot that shouldn't be happening um, long before the tumor in fact begins to exist. Thermal imaging isn't confined to cancer or precancerous detection. It has a variety of uses. It can also be used for sinus problems, thyroid imbalances, musculoskeletal problems, varicose veins, um, digestive problems, um, sometimes lung problems as well. This is a typical picture of an individual with breast cancer. You can see from this picture that there is um, a highlighted orange spot, which is indicating angiogenesis. Um, this means that there is an increased blood flow to the site of that tumor. Um, this image is actually highlighting a patient one month before they embark on chemotherapy. Mary Coleman from Monaghan had two operations, to remove precancerous cells in her breast. She wanted an exact picture of how her healing was going, and she had to fly to Harley Street until thermal thermography was available in NACE, coupled with blood analysis. Okay, thank you. The last one I had, you could see where um, the two areas had cooled down considerably. The hot spots weren't like that hot. So I could see that the, the scars or the operations were, they were healing. 
A much relieved Mary now attends the Irish Centre of Integrated Medicine on a regular basis to keep an eye on her healing and for peace of mind. You can just go in, you can see straight away. You can see, now see if those two areas had stayed hot and maybe had got bigger, I would have been very concerned. But the fact that I could see they were cooling down and I knew, well, you know, the, and plus the blood test, there's nothing there. I, you know, there's no cancer there. Thermal imaging is 89% accurate, but coupled with blood analysis, the accuracy level is about 100%. If you have the danger signs, what's the next step? You must remember at this early stage they are just physiological changes. They haven't yet reached an anatomical mass which would be a malignant tumour. So if we can identify what the underlying trigger factors are using preventative medicine such as dietary changes, hormonal rebalancing, um, liver strengthening. If we can encourage um, a higher fibre diet, treat any underlying digestive problems and help people better cope with stress, a lot can be done to prevent these changes developing even further. It's well documented that the health services in this country are under severe pressure and we constantly hear about preventative measures. So why aren't the services here using technology like thermography on a wider scale to intervene when there is still time to change your lifestyle? Because the economics are, are wrong. The economics uh, dictate that the, the surgeon who does the quadruple bypass gets paid a lot of money. And uh, he's not about to change to become a, a practitioner who, who just gives you preventive advice um, for which he would get very much less and he wouldn't get the sort of uh, the heroic uh, accolades that uh, he, he, he's accustomed to getting. As a society, we're rewarding at the wrong end of, of the economic uh, scale.